Okay, so this is how the actual software works and when you put the software in the echocardiogram and when you take a clear picture of the uh, four chamber view, apical four chamber view, um, usually the most of the times for uh, the general uh, echocardio purpose because the software has to be put and uh, multiple uh, uh, samples have to be taken to actually get the the reading right because it is it depend it reads on the uh, actual sample reads on the negativity or the markers like minus 80 minus 20 minus 36 and this has to be rebuilt like sample has to be readjusted and redone on many patients to get into this 20 to minus 20 is the normal percentage of contraction that software have to be feed by, fed by the many of the samples like 200 300 400 samples have to be taken and then they have to be reassigned to get this sample uh, this uh, 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 particular uh, values usually what we tell is like uh, the for the longitudinal uh, contraction the speckle tracking the absolute normal contraction is uh, uh, minus 18 to minus 20 percentage is the, that is the minus in minus is the when it's contracting the speckle is contracting it is becoming negative so similarly in the radial one it is in the plus 15 the circumferential one it varies from plus 20 to minus 20 because it is a circumferential it is uh, it is contracting in both the sides so it is varies from plus to minus but in uh, radial it is always plus and in the uh, longitudinal wall it is always minus but easier to measure is the longitudinal wall and easier to make a sample out of is of the longitudinal wall so usually apical four chamber is taken and normal longitudinal global uh, uh, is taken the mean is taken if you take, uh, consider like for the ejection fraction the mean ejection fraction is calculated similarly you put the speckles in separate segments like you can see here mid septal, apical septal, apical lateral and mid lateral you would give a different color code to the different speckles and you uh, run the software and it will measure the uh, movement of the speckle in from one, one place to another place and the the, uh, the severity or the contraction of the speckle or the movement of the speckle is tracked over a time similar to the M mode and the normal tracking will be uh, taken and the software will build its own uh, region like the red is like minus 20, minus 19, minus 17, minus 21 so it is in the normal range the minus uh, 17 to more negativity is always normal mm, coming towards more positive power positive we become more blue and it will be more ischemic so here you can you see that all the uh, color codes are going in the negative direction and the more the, at the end of the, uh, the end of the systole the maximum systolic uh, contraction the peaks are in the much more and negative and the yellow is in the more negative and green is in the minimal negative because the apex contracts very less when compared to the actual lateral walls so basal walls so the basal walls have the highest negativity and this is depicted in a similar way the anterior septal is less and the apex is having very much less that is 17 and the lateral and the inferior walls are on the most basal parts will contract very much that is why it is giving in minus 25 minus 21 and all so accordingly the speckle will be contracting and more negativity will be having the more contraction so this is how a uh, contraction across the uh, speckle will be seen in the software